Hello there, everybody. How's it going? I am Void of Duty Glitch. It's coming to you today, and today I am playing as Kale in the Jungle. We're going to try to go say devour Kale and see if we can make some epic plays, but I'm against Shivana, so this might be a bit difficult to actually uh, make happen, but we'll see. Let's look at the teams here. We have Talon Mid, Kog'Maw, AD Carry, hopefully. Also, the new Power Announcer. Pretty great. Kale Jungle, Hammer Dinger Top, Nala Support. They have um, Shivana, Savan Jungle, or God I Gary, I, um, Brahm, I mean he has Teleport, that's out, that's hard to say, I'm guessing Brahm, would it be Brahm top and then like, Z Game Plank mid Zach support, I mean I would think it would just be like Game Plank mid Zach top and Brahm support, which could still be the case, but it's very rare when a support takes Teleport, so, Honestly, I'm really unsure on who these people are. Are also, you can like look at people's names right here. So we have, you know, I am Fuse and Geodans. Actually, when you're, you you all looked at it before, it's just you didn't have to hover over. Also, new HUD. What are my thoughts on the HUD? I don't like it. Um. Oh, what? I completely forgot about. Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm not getting a leash. Oh, they still gonna get me a leash? Oh, guys, you're. You're you're too kind. Um, I didn't Kogma. I, did, I didn't wait. I wait. I was like a half a second too late, Kogma. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, what do I buy second? I'm guessing my Q, but I could be wrong. I am running my knowledge ring pages for attack speed. What was I saying prior? I feel like I was saying something important. Okay, so it is Brom. Wow, that's interesting. I don't know what I was saying. I feel like I was saying something important, and then I got sidetracked by Kogma harassing me and making me be a, be a very sad human being, but, no, that's okay. And I really hope I can at least get this rebel, because obviously my clear time isn't going to be very good for a while. But, you know, as long as I can at least survive for just a little bit, that's all I really ask for. So I'm just going to go and go back immediately, because I don't want to risk trying to do another camp and then, like, having to go back, which will just waste my time. So we're going to not take that risk and just go back and pick up a bunch of health potions so there we go yes i'm getting five at the end of the day i'm you know late game strats anyway so i might as well continue with set strats heck i'm almost thinking i should have starred red just so i'd have more survivability at this point and there's the spooky game plank with his barrels in the mid lane i've really seen the new game plank i'll be honest with you i mean i know he has the e barrels i know his q can upgrade his ultimate now but that's about all i know and all right i don't know if Shivana appears to have started blue for some reason, so or red, I mean, so I probably could have stolen her blue, but obviously I'm not, I wasn't going to try something like that when I had no idea that that was, you know, the case. So I'll get my E again. This is my Smite do 410. No point necessary timing it, but it makes me look somewhat cool. So we're going to do it anyway, and pretty much just proceed to farm for a while. I really, I of course, really need to just get my Devourer pronto. That's, of course, you know, the main focus here. Because once I get to my Devourer, I will hopefully make good things happen within this world. That is the that is the hope and the dream. And it's hopefully a dream that we can make happen. I know I potentially could still gank. Um, Bauman looks like it's, you know, f relatively far pushed up. But I, st I just don't think it'll end well. Even if I do gank, um, they'd have to be in a really bad spot for them not to be able to just turn around and kill me. Which concerns me greatly, because obviously if I die early in the game as Kale, not that that wouldn't be, not that, that would be too surprising, but I like to avoid if not possible. You know, just it just wouldn't make me feel very good and get me discouraged. Now I want to be discouraged. I'm also questioning my game plank's blades on fire. That doesn't seem very realistic. Oh wait, it's a proc thing. I think that's his. Is that his, wait? I think that's his new passive. As you can tell, when I said I knew new things about the new, uh, I knew how the new game plank worked. I. Uh, Kind of lied. Not not gonna not gonna lie. Even though I just said uh, I just said I lied, but I'm also not going to lie if you get my rarity ramboozled. So I'm gonna level my E first, because you know there's no reason not to level up your E first. If you develop something that isn't your E first as Kale, you're probably kind of cuckoo crazy. First blood going down to the Kogma or the Urgot, even though the Urgot didn't even gain assist, which is always a bad sign. It's always a very bad sign, especially in Urgot, but. Obviously, uh, you know, Kogma has the late game going for him, which is uh, not huge, not a huge confidence booster because, you know, at that phrase in general, just like, we have the late game. It's like, yeah, but do we, though? <laughs> but I'm not saying he's bad. It's Kogma. 
Obviously, he's gonna have a hard time delaying things. So we'll just have to wait and see if things improve for him. I'm gonna pop one more health potion and see if maybe we can have supply a gank on the game plank. Hey, get it supply because he supplies berries. <laughs> it's not. It's actually not even a joke. Okay. Um, we're not gonna be able to gank him, so I'll probably just work on getting the Rift Scuttler instead. Hopefully, Shiva doesn't show up and try to get it for herself. It's unlikely. I saw her go to the right because I'm, you know, I'm assuming she's just gonna try to clear stuff as well because that's what you do on Siobhan as well but on the off chance she goes up here we can you know have a little bit of an eye out for her I do plan to go devout or chilling smite because if I'm not going anything like Bork um I can really use the slow more I mean I can definitely see why someone would, would say go stalkers but um I am I'm just gonna go chilling smite you know chilling smite's that safe smite that you can always go and usually have no real problems with if you choose to go it and so that's what I'm going to choose to go, and you can't stop me. So that's going to be the Gromp's death. Um, I can get the Wolves. I'm pretty certain I can get the Wolves, so let's work on getting the Wolves. Um, I should be able to cube and use my E. Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and pop it, and that should be the Wolves' death, so even if it just barely. That's okay if I just barely kill the Wolves. The Wolves will still die, and that's all that really matters for me. So let's go and kill them right there. Go back, because I'm not entirely sure I can handle the Raptors. Zack killing the Heimerdinger. He does have Ignite. And actually, that's not too surprising. It's very easy to underestimate Zack's damage and stuff of that nature. So actually, that's okay. You might be wondering why I'm not getting boots. It's because, again, I just want maximum clear time speed. And I want to make sure the gold costs for my Devourer. It's as low as possible the next time I go back. So we're just going to get the components for it. And that will be that. Our bot lane would look like a very much of a risky position. Um, Kog'Maw trying to supply, you know, some danger there. The Shivana is very much aware of what's going on here, which means probably nothing will really happen here, especially since our talent does lack the necessary man to accomplish any grand tasks. But apparently, they decided to not go back. Which, I'm not going to say it's a silly decision on their part, but that's a pretty silly, silly decision on their part to not go back. So, you know, that's, that's that. I'm, you know, I'm okay with it, but... I don't think anyone else here really is, and I'm actually going to try to save my red so I can use my smite to get the health bonus from it. That way I can stay in the jungle even longer. I know that's arguably a bad decision because, in the you know, it'll suspend the clear time or, you know, how fast it will respawn, but I just want to make sure I can stay here as long as possible. And by that I mean I'm not going to do that at all because at the end of the day I'm going to go back soon anyways because of the fact that I want to secure my devourer. ASAP, so never mind what I just said. Let's go and work on killing this red buff. I'm just pretending I didn't say anything. It's gonna wail on me pretty hard, though. I have my ultimate if need be, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna have to come to that, so we'll just auto attack a couple more times, use my E here, and that will be the red buff for me. Just to have just enough gold for Devour, so we'll go back and start getting that stacked. And let's see. Um. Ganking bottom is still probably a pretty decent choice, mainly because of Nautilus engages. And of course, Town's not a bad decision either. It'd be very good to, it'd be very good if we can counter gank like Shivana. Because Kale Kale's one was really good at counter ganking because of his ultimate. Because you know then the target that they're ganking is suddenly invulnerable while you're wailing on them. So pretty he pretty good stuff indeed, but until I see a very, very good ganking opportunity, I'm gonna farm my eyes out. I know this isn't going to be the most exciting video, and I don't know why I said eyes instead of, like, heart, but you have to understand, I need to get the Devourer quickly, because otherwise, I'm just not going to be that strong. So, you know, that's the path we're going. We're pretty much going to be Warwick, and you know what, that's, that's just fine. Continue to, continue to use my heal while in the jungle, though, as you know, it does give me some pretty hefty bonuses. Use my Q here and use the smite there just to ensure it dies rapidly. I don't have any health potions, which definitely concerns me a little bit. And I should be okay. And Talon's securing a kill on the game plank as well, which is very good for him. Looks like Sh oh, Shivana's going... Shivana's going warriors? Yeah, she has a long sword. And Berserker's Greaves also... Yeah, that she's going warrior, it looks like. Why would you go warrior? Devourer is so OP on Shivana. Unless she's gained that long sword randomly. I'm hoping that's the case because otherwise that uh, Shivana is a very silly individual because you really uh, should get Devourer on Shivana. Pretty much always. So you know, that's just me though. And I may be able to gank the bottom lane here. 
Um, but it looks like they're probably just gonna flee. There's the game plank. Look at Zach's build Moby Boo Home Guards this early into the game. I like it a lot. I like it a lot indeed. We can maybe do something here. Let's go and uh, proceed to kind of run away here. Let's go and do some bit more damages and use my ultimate. Ugh, use the Q. Use the Q. Okay, I'm alive. All right, that was scary. Um, thankfully, they weren't able to kill me, which means that they, they, we should get a kill out of this. All right, that was good thing I reacted quick enough. I'm just gonna go and tell home guards. Period. And buy boots dagger next because I'm going full again. This is full attack speed mode. I am gonna still rush Nashers as my uh, first first item. Moby boots, yeah. Moby boots, Zach. I mean, you know, he, he's winning. He's winning his lanes. So, uh, you know, apparently he knows what he's doing. And uh, his talent securing the kill and barely not dying to the ignite. So that's very good for him. The game plank is getting a little bit far behind. As far as I'm aware, the new game plank is pretty good. Because I don't think they made any negative changes to him. I think all the changes to him are actually positive. Let's just as far as I'm aware, again, could be incorrect. Let's not throw out accusations when we're not exactly sure what those accusations mean. So let's just kill his grump instead. Have a grand old time while doing so. Use our Q and that will be that. I guess we'll just go get the Rift Scumbling as my spirit wolf follows me. In all his splendor glory. Um, could throw a gank at the Zack, but that's time away from game my Save Devour, which, you know, time away from my Save Devour is like time away from, you know, your wife or something, you know, and a happy wife, happy life. Same goes with Devour. Happy Devour, happy, your happy spirit wolf, happy life. And I was trying to make a joke there. I don't think it worked at the end, but that's okay. Another Rift Scuddler. Bomb turret actually getting destroyed by the enemy team, so, of course, that's not very good for us, but. And you know what the thing that is good for us is the hello there, Shibana. Hello there. Um she her ultimate did just pop up, and I'm pretty sure it's off cooldown. The Heimer Daner looks like he's getting involved in a little bit of a scuffle with the Zack. Um And there's the flash. If you're gonna flash, you should probably keep running Heimer Daner. That's my personal advice. I don't think I think you're in a little bit of a spooky position. Yeah, there's Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you poor thing. Alright, so Fed Zack is becoming an issue. But, you know, we have a Fed Kogma and a Fed Talon, so... Where's that going for us? We're gonna go on a limb say those guys are probably gonna go back. No, they're not. They are gonna ward, though. And I'm gonna... Kinda go and use my, um... Thing of Bob's here. Go and do this, and, you know, we might not get the Urgot, but he's going for it. He's going for it. There's the smite and the damages and use my ultimate here and let's go and just get a kill nice and easy. And use my movement speed buff here and that will not be a kill for me, but at the end of the day, Kogma getting two kills is fine as well. Ah, minions. Okay. <laughs> I literally almost died to minions there. Thankfully, I leveled up. Honestly, if I didn't level up, I might have died from stupidity. In fact, I'm pretty sure I would have, which is uh, pretty laughable, but that's okay. Let's go and get our Fiendish Codex. Where's our stacks at? Why doesn't it show our stacks? There it goes, it's at 12, okay. Meanwhile, mid. Oh, Town's just having a grand old time in the mid lane. Well, that's fine. Zack got his spirit message now, just the Heimer Dinger, but when we have a Fed Kagma, and of course, Fed Kagma, I mean, I was, I was, I love how this happens. I see, he gets killed at level 3, and now he's 5 and 1. Like, props to him for actually, like, getting back in this game that easy. That was... That's very, very good, and of course, the fact that they have a Zack, a Braum, and all of these tanks makes it just that much better. So it looks like there's slight suspicions they might be at the Dragon. Um, that or we can just do it. In fact, I'm pretty confident we can just get this here Dragon. I do have my Smite, so I'm gonna work on doing so. Go and pop my Q, and it doesn't look like I actually need to use my Smite on it, so I'm not going to. I'm gonna save it for a gank instead, and that will be that I got anyway, though, because I'm just an absolute god, so, you know, you're welcome. That will be the Rift Scuddler for me, which I'm happy that I got, because I believe that it does give me a stack. 20 stacks on Devour, 15 minutes, and, you know, that will... This music, though. <laughs> this Bilgewater music is pretty great. I, I want to turn it up, but, you know, that would ruin the, the settings I have, but we'll turn it up two. We'll turn it up by two, and that... That'll be that. 
Destiny is pretty great, though. All right. 21 stacks. We can do this. More kills going down the bottom lane. Looks like it was very close this time, and Braum trying to secure one more. Oh, no. He's going to get the kill. Well, that's about it, Dar. I was, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I was kind of worried Hyrenir was going to ask for the blue. Thankfully, he didn't. So we're all dandy there. He's like right there. We're nearing it. We're nearing the dream. I don't know, you poor thing. You poor thing, but you don't understand this grump already. He's already started a battle. Alright, uh, yeah. Oh, you got a kill. Uh, no, the ignite. Oh, oh, I got the flash off. And then use the heal. And that show we actually saved the flipping talon. Oh my god, I feel like the best hero of all time. That actually worked. Alright. Well, the saving is real. And that's going to be a game plan ultimate happening, but it's not really going to result in anything, so... The same for the town, Mr. I am Fuse, going 3 0 3 now for himself. I'm 1 0 3. I mean, I'm, my score isn't exactly splen you know, splendor. Splendor it isn't exactly great, but you know, it's, uh, it's not bad. And we can just find three more minions that we can slay, and that will be that. Please don't kill my Krugs. Please, I need it. Don't take it from me, Kagme. Don't take it. No, no, no. I'm so close, Ka oh my god, this guy's the worst Kog'Maw of all- Forget anything positive I said about him, this guy's actually the worst. Alright. It's like, sar slight sarcasm, but I didn't imply- I did- I imply I wanted it, and he still took it, which makes him a bit- a bit- a bit rude, but, you know, it's not that bad, obviously. I'll still get my save devourer, even if I have to, you know, defeat these two guys single-handedly for it. So maybe we can, uh, you know, just rack up a kill by doing such. Um... Yeah, I'm here. Don't think I'm not here, friends. I will wreck you guys till the end of time. Um, that's going to be a kill for me because, you know, I deserve it after my gosh dang rafters got taken. Um, so that will be the kill for me. A double kill being scored for the Kales 303 now. And we do have our Sated Devourer. And I, oh my god, I can go back and get my Nashers. I am going to be so strong now. I mean... I'm pretty sure this game isn't going to be that. I mean, their bot lane's 10 deaths total. So, which is very rare, by the way. Pretty much usually usually always when I'm in, you know, I'm involved. It's uh, the other way around, but that's okay. So, we got our Nasher's Tooth and our Say Devourer. We are just pretty much unstoppable now. I mean, the amount of damage we're going to dish out is just going to be insanity. Um, I know some people might say I should have gone like Bork, but... Uh, Nashers is just way too good on Kale. Like, it's so, it's so, so good on Kale. You really should get it. But if the game actually lasts long enough, I'll probably get, like, Wits End and maybe stuff like Bork and Ruins afterwards. We'll see. Obviously, the only time will tell. Oh, I didn't know Save Devour makes, like, a little purple effect when you attack stuff. That's pretty nifty. Okay, I want to 1v1 someone now. But it's probably going to be pretty, pretty difficult to find someone 1v1. Forget what I just said. Excuse me, Gameplank. Um, I wish to speak with you, but it looks like you're not going to allow me to have an audience, so that's okay. We'll just ag, ag the flipping critting barrels. I didn't know. I forgot they, the explosions chain. It's not 30 minutes that might get the devour. No, I don't keep my say devour. The reason I'm actually doing this, by the way, is because uh, he had a game. Uh, this guy, uh, Chris, just had a game where he the it was the 30 minute mark, and his team had a Kale jungle. Who didn't have a state of devourers said say devour the 30 minute mark, which is kind of silly. No, sir. You aren't taking my gosh dang crugs, except that fact. Thank you very much and good night. Okay. We'll go uh maybe get something done here. I need to if they just surrender without me like doing anything with this, then that would be pretty bad. So look at this damn look at the on hit damage. I have the gosh dang kill steals though. Okay, just don't surrender, team. Just don't surrender. Oh, we got him. Eh. Oh. Well, that's fine. I'll just put my sword down dance a little bit. And watch as uh, the Shivana flees in terror. There we go. And what the heck are you doing, Missy? Do you honestly think this is going to work out for you? Because I don't think it is. Look at this town. Do you see this town? Chances are you probably don't. Oh, I didn't ultimate time. Oh, you know what? I saved them once. It's all that really matters. That's okay. These are a little key right there. And ag. Oh! Run away. Run away. Heimerdinians need to live. I have a better life. No. 
No, I've had too many videos ruined where I have no death streak, and then I die at the very end. We we can't we can't let that happen again. Run, run for eternity. All right, good. We're we're safe. We're in the home free. Um, I want to get that CS. I don't want to take any chances of Zach using Z over the wall. As tempting and juicy as it is, we'll just pass it and go for our wits end next for the maximum on hit damage potential. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'll get another dagger. I can't resist the massive damage. Just thankfully, they didn't surrender. And I mean, the Zach is six and one, so you know we have that going for us. All right, our bottom lane is being. You know, in a sense of scum scum lords, but at the end of the day it might oh it might actually backfire on them. The Brahmo will completely miss. And I would get my red buff, but it looks like we have a little bit of a priority here. So I'm on the way, friends. The Say Devour Kale is on the loose to provide all the assistance you've ever possibly wanted. So let's go and uh, do this this thing of Bob, the damages. That will be a kill for them for me, and what are you doing, sister? What, what are you doing? You're, you're actually, you're Brahmin, I just called you sister, but that's okay. Um, ugh! Eh, 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 eh. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear, too dear. Oh dear, too dear! Oh! Eh. Eh. Yo. They thought they can kill me. The close calls we've been having this game. Haha. -ha. The kill has been secured by the kale. 607 Gale Jungle now. Look at these epic plays occurring within. Oh, gee. I haven't really been making any epic plays necessarily, but there's been a lot of close calls this game, and we have all of our on hit items now. But I lied. We don't have all our on hit. Do we really want to go ruins? Yeah. What's my with that? What's my attack speed right now? Hold on. Um, how do I check it? I thought you like can press C and look at where. How do I look at my stats? New HUD, please. I thought you just look oh allows you oh okay um attack speed uh you know i don't i don't know uh let's just let's just do it let's just do it let's just do it we'll go bork or something it'll be great um our foes will feel the wrath of our unhit damage the say devour is just spectacular oh the wait oh you can't get stacks past say devour is that how it works I really, oh, I didn't know that. I thought you can keep gain stacks after save devour. I guess that makes sense. So they're trying to balance. I see what they were thinking when they. Uh, <laughs> this is absurd. I'm not some. I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Just by how flipping fast I attack and destroy every destroy everything that dares you know go in my general direction. But you know, it's, rather than uh, helping my team, I'm just gonna go get this here blue buff instead as we listen to the grand old pirate music. And, you know, as good as this music is, I am going to be honest, it doesn't fit this map at all. <laughs> this isn't exactly the map for, you know, jolly good pirate times. But the music's still better than regular Sun. This is music, in my opinion. Um, so that's just me. You know, some may disagree. I, again, I don't think it, I think, ooh, there's holograms that I like purple as well. Alright. These guys are in a somewhere, a spot they shouldn't be, so. It looks like Talon is also willing to provide assistance, so let's just do all the damages in the entire world, and that will be Talon scoring a kill, because I let him have it, because I'm a super nice guy that you should definitely honor and uh, throw all your, um, something at. Give me your stuffed animals. I like stuffed animals. I don't like stuffed animals that much. I used to like stuffed animals, like, uh, you know, 15 years ago or something, but, you know, that's in the past. We're a brand new man now. And what are you doing, son? Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, hello. I'm just going to immediately uh, use my ultimate to try to refrain myself from dying, and then I'm just going to attack extremely quickly and maybe get a kill. Um, let's go and use my key right- Oh! Ah, oh, Game Plank, though. What are you doing, Game Plank? Um, unless they guys are just silly, I'll just let us, like, get some kills anyway. Oh, okay, the barrels didn't hit me. This is good. This is good. This is good! Oh! Okay. Okay, we're alive. Um, let's just make sure this turret dies so it doesn't like it locked on to me and kills me. Um, we did reach a legendary status. This is a good thing, but as per usual, I don't want to ruin my no death streak. Because that, you know, that's something that we have... Kai said at this point, oh my god, I could go to ruins. I honestly kind of want to go Bork for the lifesteal. But it may not, it may not be regarded as silly. Because, you know, Ruans is Ruans, but I want some lifesteal so I can just, uh, you know, like, go in the jungle and kind of get my health back that way. So I might do that. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need more gold. I mean, of course, I still have my heal, and as long as I have blue buff up, 
or my bluff on, then I can just keep using my heal. So, you know, nature, call, nature calls, though. Nature calls something, something. Oh, wait, is this my attack speed? Oh, it is. I think it'd go over the cap if I got ruins. I don't know how to do the percentage math or how you check that stuff. Listen, we're just going Bork, all right? That's it. We're just going to go Bork. Don't tell me I live my life, all right? That's what we're going to do. Just plus, keep in mind, the percentage damage on the Bork. Probably a lot better than 1v1 and just flat more attack speed. But I could be very incorrect in that regard, so... Uh, what are you doing, sister? Um, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of rapidly attack you and watch as your health evaporates from nothingness, so that'll be your death. I'm guessing your ultimate was on cooldown. I saw her rage built up, and I thought as long as that's up, you could use your dragon form, but I could be wrong. Wait, can I use it? Yeah. The blade will be acquired now, so life still allows to stay, uh, you know, sustained a lot easier. And now we have more chasing potential, and the percentage on hit basically actually 8% of the... This is, this is, this is an interesting build we have here. We are definitely full attack speed KL mode. Well, it's definitely working. As for our last item, not Ruans, because that definitely is, would not give us much attack speed. Because, wait, what's the cap? Ta cap's 2.6, isn't it? It would be. I'm, I think I'm thinking the cap is just too low. Um, but either way, I don't know if I would want to go that regardless. Actually, no, probably. Is it how much? 50% of the attack damage. So it's not actually that good because it doesn't count the on-hit effects. In that regard. So maybe I'd go some like, I don't know, Iceborne, I'm not sure. Let's use our heal on you so we don't risk you dying horribly. And then uh, just in, you know, just in, oh dear. No, the, this is this is when my streak ends. This is when the streak ends. No, this isn't when, this isn't when the streak ends. You, you can't, you can't catch the Kale. I like to tell you, you could catch the Kale, but you can't catch the Kale. So we're just gonna kind of uh, murder everyone ever while those guys are a little bit distracted, and, and boop, and boop, there we go, nice and easy. Um, we see there's more foes, more more foes that they're trying really hard to kill Nautilus. I don't think it's working too well for them, and don't think I don't see you, Zach. Someone's got to kill you, and that someone's going to be me. Um, oh, excuse you? No, you don't, you don't understand, Zach, Zach. Zach, buddy, pal, where are you? You flashed away from me. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, he's too- God, Zack, no. Oh, I was just hoping I can get a quadra or something. Well, that's the surrender vote. Very anticlimactic finish. But, you know, at least we did, you know, show off the powers of the attack speed kill. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, comment if you have any fantastic sale. Be sure to read it and subscribe if you haven't already. Some warm fuzzy feeling in my heart. Um, just gonna let this music play for a little bit. You know, for people that are, like, living in this run-down, beaten-up, like, pirate town, you would think they wouldn't sing so well. Even though they're kind of just, like, chanting, it's not actually not that really good scene, it's just, like, it brings the atmospheric moment. Scale Jungle Peak. Tax Peak. Scale Jungle. Have a great day.